So and it is marked. It is marked. It just took us a little bit to find it. Yeah, well, actually, Michelle found them, not me. <laughs> she's the, she's actually the wilderness person, not me. I was a Girl Scout. Yeah. Well, I know which one I want. <laughs> you say there's spiders in the wheel chocks? Yes, and I don't want them in the back of the camper. We left Chelsea, Michigan and headed south to Ohio. Take the exit, then turn right onto County Road 25A toward Wapakoneta. Our first stop was Indian Lake State Park. At the next stop sign, turn right. Midway between the Airstream Mothership and the Neil Armstrong Air and Space Museum. But that's the subject of another video. At the stop sign, turn right onto County Road 25A toward Wapakoneta. We then headed deeper into Ohio to visit a location known for its stunning waterfalls and hiking trails, Hocking Hills State Park. We're at Hocking Hills State Park and just like normal, about as fast as a herd of turtles, we're getting out of here, getting ready to do a hike to Old Man's Cave. I don't mind saying I rolled out of bed and I rolled up Ooh, stretch my back and legs So as you make the hike from the campground to Old Man's Cave, um, one thing we've noticed is that the trails are not marked that well. So we've had a couple times where we're asking, are we sure we're going the right way? But uh, it does look like we are. Blow we did see this one marker, so it must be for the trail. Either that or it's how to get to Jeremy and Berta's place. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Keep me alive when the darkness comes. Ooh, that kind of a morning. It's the natural feeling that will make it through. And I have barely begun. Once we got on the trail, we did notice these, if I could point at it, these trail markers right here, and they are on both sides of the trees on our route to Old Man's Cave. So and it is marked. It is marked. It just took us a little bit to find it. Yeah, well, actually, Michelle found them, not me. <laughs> she's the, she's actually the wilderness person, not me. I was a Girl Scout. You are a Girl Scout. <laughs> and you went all the way, you are a Girl Scout and all the way through what? Gold. Gold. I earned my gold award. Gold, Girl Scout. I was a, I didn't, Boy Scouts, I didn't get much past Tenderfoot, but our son did get his Eagle Scout. It's the natural feeling that you make it through. Is there anything to see? Trees. So We hiked from the campground to Cedar Falls and then on to Old Man's Cave. It was a beautiful autumn day for a hike, but there had been very little rain over the summer, so the falls were dry. Let's meet down at the I had hoped to do some waterfall photography, but instead, we simply enjoyed the hike and the scenery at Hocking Hills. Cold sun, cold 
colored with shades of white Wave goodbye to last summer Cold air coming away soon So let's lay under the falling Tell me something about yourself You've never told to no one else Say goodbye to lonely nights last summer What you thinking of? Are we gonna try different ones so we can taste each other's or no? Probably, there may be a little bit of overlap. Yeah, because I mean, obviously I want- oh. That's Cabernet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind trying a Malbec. Okay. Well, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll grab the Cabernet Franc. Okay. So what did you think of Hocking Hills Winery? Um, it was really nice. It's not anything super fancy, but beautiful scenery. And the wines were delicious. We had like, we had a hard time choosing yeah, we <laughs> as just, to which one we liked the best. We did, we grabbed a couple of bottles yep. of the wine. And uh, what was it you said? You said that you've been to much fancier wineries, but few that all the wines were equally as good. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, it was very nice. We had a nice charcuterie board and we had to move our seat because we had an uninvited guest. B. A well, bee or a yellow jacket. Yes. And <laughs> he wanted uh, our charcuterie. Yes, he was very, very persistent. <laughs> All right, let's go for a bike ride around Hocking Hills. We'll see. There's our campsite right here. We're on site 20. Let's... I was going to do this ride with Michelle, but her back tire's flat and has a hole in it. So we got to get that fixed. This is, we came into the campground. We came in this way and um, had to pass our campsite in order to get to the dump station. There's only one and it's um, middle two thirds of the way in the park. See these streamers up. There's actually a run going on right now, like a five and 10K run today. In fact, our hiking yesterday, we saw those on our hiking trail. So people are going through all of the, um, through some of the trails for their run as well. It'd be quite pretty. Here's a non-electric sites, 81 through 93. So we've got mostly tent campers back here. 
right back at a drinking fountain. And one unique thing that I saw in both Ohio State Parks we were at is they have these gray water dump stations right here. Back there is a sign right here for the run. That's the direction that the uh, the participants in the Hocking Hills 5 and 10K run are to go. A couple of different things that we noticed at the Ohio um, State Parks compared to some other state parks we've been in. Um, one is that the hiking trails are not that clearly marked. It actually got to be a little confusing sometimes as to which trail we were on and where we needed to go. It was yesterday, Michelle and I went on that hike to Old Man's Cave and the one waterfall. So my legs are pretty toasted today. Going up that hill, there's a dump station right there. So we came in, we came in to the dump station, took on our water, and then had to loop back around to our campsite. Um, so we looped around the um, bathroom shower facilities right here between it and the, and the swimming pool to uh, get to our site. Now we're coming towards the full hookup sites. I think he's a, this is a very nice, very pretty loop but um, the sites are not, for the most part, as spacious as what we've got in our electric-only sites. Ample dumpsters placed around the campground. And then more sites and another toilet house up there. And let's come all the way down and we drove this the other day, kind of went exploring and there's a, the water tower is right up. There's a cul-de-sac or a circle around this. another Airstream right there, Airstream Excella. Very pretty, classic unit. Should have thought to grab some flamingos and card to flamingo them on my way through. Watch out for that, a little bit of gravel around that curve. It's kind of nice being here in the shoulder season. It's in September, middle of September, and uh, it's not that busy. Well, there's some people from Michigan. Absolutely beautiful early autumn day. Look at that gorgeous setup right there. That's a speed limit thing. That's one thing I think I mentioned is how many people speed to this campground. I was really, really surprised by that. Nice little loop here. Hi folks. Hi. Come on through this loop. I haven't explored this loop at all. Nice little loop right through here.
little trillium camper. Michelle and I almost ended up with something that size. So we could have kept our Jeep Cherokee. It was a great vehicle. There's a couple, there's a classic unit back in there. And a nice tab. Retro can ham unit. It's another nice oldie. It's about the size of one my parents lived in in the uh, late 40s in Washington. My dad had served in World War II and then he got called back into the service in the Korean conflict and uh, he was stationed out in the state of Washington and then fought fires. Who'd ever think in the Navy you'd fight fires? My dad did not have fond memories of being called back into service for the Korean conflict. I'm gonna slow down for this loop this time. Oh, those are pretty sights. A little loop right back in there. Look, and we met some folks at the base camp earlier this week. And they're leaving the same day we are. I was hoping maybe I'd see him. There's one of our runners. There's another Airstream. Where are they from? Virginia. There's our base camp. Right there. You guys got a nice setup. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oops. Paul, you getting pictures today? Uh, video today. Video? I'm riding the campground. Oh, okay. We're just hanging out here. Tomorrow we leave. Well, we took a walk this morning and she she lay, actually laid down instead of walking. Right up by your place. Wow. Yeah. We couldn't right shoot. So at five, five out of six days we hiked. Uh-huh. And she's just a little young for that, I think. Anyway, I'll let you guys get on with your day. All right, well, thanks for stopping we haven't, by. We haven't looked up your thing yet because the internet here stinks, but we will. What service do you have? Verizon. Let's check our internet and Wi-Fi speeds here at Hocking Hills State Park. Let's check first our T-Mobile speed. So I've got a download speed of 333 megabits. And then we're running through our upload speed right now. And that's at 16.4. So from there, let's turn off the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi off, we're gonna be on AT&T service and we'll run our speed test with that. I'm at 266 download and 20.3 upload. That is some of the best internet that we've got anywhere. And who would think up here in rural Ohio in Hocking Hills State Park? And we're also going to test the total dissolved solids of the water. And I've come to one of the drinking fountains right here, and I've got my water cup, and we're going to fill this up a little bit, and then we're going to check the amount of total dissolved solids in the water with the water tester that came with our zero water filter. And this is showing about 190 parts per million. say there's spiders in the wheel chocks? Yeah, and I don't want them in the back of the camper. Left. Right. Brakes. Running lights. 